Hello and welcome back to Falls of Horizon 4. Uh, the season changed a couple of days ago, as you'll know. So that means we have some more seasonal championships to go and complete to win some cars. So we can win the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker, the 94 Nissan Fair Lady Z S Twin Turbo, to give it its full name, and the Quartz Regalia. There's actually a fourth car. There's another Regalia, I think, that you can unlock once you've got that car. But anyway, uh, for now I'm going to go away and do the three championships we need to do to get those. And then we'll see if we can unlock the fourth car and test all of them out afterwards. So, to win the Bone shaper, Shaker, you have to do the Playground Games one, that one. To win the Nissan, you have to do the Street Scene Championship, which is up here. And to win the Quartz Regalia, 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 whatever that car is. Uh, to win that, you have to do the Community Championship, which I believe is. Yeah, it's this one. Is that a community one? What's it called? Autumn Community Championship. No, I lied, it's this one. There we go. That's what you need to get the Quartz Regalia, or whatever that car is. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go away and try and win those three, and then show you those as well as unlocking the fourth car. So, I'll join you when I have three new cars. So, we've now won the three cars <coughs> that we can win from the various championships and seasonal events. So I'm going to start off with this, the Fair Lady Z, which I think is probably the least exciting of the three cars, well, four cars that we're going to look at today, three cars that I've won so far. <coughs> so uh, we'll jump into this, have a quick look at customising and take it for a quick drive, but not, not drive it too far or anything, and then come straight back to take a look at the Hot Wheels uh, car. So we go upgrades and tuning. Have a quick look at what we've got here. Uh, all your usual stuff. Really, it's aero and engine swaps you're interested in. So we've got quite a lot of aero on this car. Quite a popular tuning car, I guess. I might put that one on. See if we can get that kit all the way around. Oh, we can't. That's disappointing. Whoa! I think we'll leave the spoiler alone. <laughs> oh, we can get the same kit at the rear. I actually prefer that one at the rear. Can we get that at the front? The stilling kit. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we'll do the same there. And... We'll leave the bonnet alone, I think. Was there a still in spoiler? Oh, it was that one. Okay. We'll, <laughs> we'll do the kit, but not the spoiler. What about engines? Got an inline six, a V8, an inline six, or an inline four. So anyway, I think we should take this out on the road, see what it's like, uh, and then come back and have a look at the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. So here we are in the Nissan for its quick test drive. It's got more power than I imagined actually. I mean, it's not going to be super quick. It's only B class. Yeah, I'd have thought something like this would be more like C class actually, but apparently it's faster than I thought it was. I mean, like any car in Forza, you can obviously modify it to be immensely fast, but quite like driving things as standard, see what they're actually like. Attempt the drift zone in it? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> you have to throw it in so hard because it's underpowered that you end up... Spinning it out. Okay, that was almost good. Now, a bit more power. Uh, you can turn this into a decent drifting machine, probably.
Well, it's quite fun to take down these sort of twisty roads. What's it like in here? Not very exciting. Typical Japanese interior. They don't look too bad from the outside. They go pretty well. They're reliable, but interior. <laughs> Interesting interiors are not done particularly well. But anyway, that's the Nissan. Is that a 300 ZX? It says in the back. That. Ah, oh, just says Fair Lady Z on the description. Whatever. <laughs> That's the red Nissan. Now it's probably time to go and take a look at the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker, I think. So I'll join you back at the garage to jump on into the Hot Wheels, have a quick look at customization, and take that for a drive as well. So here is the Bone Shaker, which it turns out isn't actually a new car. I've already got one, which I probably should have checked before I went to do the championship. Uh, but anyway, we'll jump on into that, uh, see what upgrades are available, which I probably already know, but I honestly can't remember. I can't remember if I've even done a video driving this thing. Uh, we'll quickly do that and then head on to the third car, the Quartz Regalia, which definitely is new. I won't spend too much time looking at this because you've probably all seen it. And it's been in previous games as well. Well, the Regalia has, but it's been in this game already. So in terms of aero, we can put on the Forza, actually, Forza Splitter on this is kind of cool. I think the Forza Spoiler is as well, yeah, it's a Hot Wheels Spoiler. And in terms of conversions, we can put a 7.2 litre V8 in it. Okay, so I think we'll leave that as it is. Head on out for a quick drive in it, not too long, because you've all seen this car on Forza Horizon 4 already. And then into the Quartz Regalia, and the fourth car, which I haven't told you about yet. Some of you might already know what it is. So, quick test drive of the Hot Wheels. Sounds good. I was going to go this way, but I think if we go down that same road, we might be able to do slightly better in the drift zone in this. That gear stick is ridiculous. Look at him reaching up for it. He can't even reach it. Look, he's just waving his hand near it. Okay, from interior view, but it works slightly better. Such a stupid car this is. Well, I mean, it's a Hot Wheels, it's supposed to be, but... Oh, that was terrible. Come on, you were sliding all over the place a minute ago. Is it all wheel drive or something? I've got to try that again because that was awful. No, it's just not slidy enough. Anyway, totally insane thing. You all know what the bone shaker is by now, what it's like to drive, probably. You've probably all had it on this game for ages if you've got this game, or on Horizon 3, because of course it was on there as well. But anyway, nearly back at the festival, so we might as well go and check out the actually the actually new car that we've got this, this week, uh, which is the Quartz Regalia from... I think it's from Final Fantasy or something. I don't really know much about Final Fantasy. I just know that this car's from it because it's in Forza. But anyway, we'll go and check it out. And the fourth car, which is quite closely related to the car, uh, to the Regalia in the first place. So anyway, let's go and check out the Regalia. So here it is, the Quartz Regalia 723 Quartz. I think it's, I believe it's got 723 horsepowers. Bit of a strange car. I mean, it's kind of like a Rolls Royce from a mythical world. 
I mean, look, that's not even the engine. That's a compartment to store stuff in. Then that's the engine on the side, and there's another one that side. I think those are the engines. So it's got like half an engine each side. Can't look in the boot. I love how the doors open, the suicide doors. And of course it's convertible as well, that whole roof folds away, which is pretty cool. There's barely any four-door convertibles in existence. Well, not that this is in existence, but... <laughs> anyway, let's check out the arrow. I'm assuming it's Forza arrow. Didn't even see any. Yeah, it's Forza arrow, and it's hideous. Really doesn't go on this car at all. What about engine swaps? Can put a V12 or a racing V12 in. I'm assuming it's already got a V12. What's a standard engine? Oh, I don't know. But they're both V12 swaps, so I'm assuming it's a V12. But anyway, I think we should take it out for a drive. And whilst we're out for a drive, I'll show you how we can unlock the other car that I've been talking about, which is in fact another version of this Quartz Regalia. But yeah, we'll go out for a drive and check that out, and then come back to the garage and see what we can do with that. So when we go out of the garage, it already has the top down, which I wish they'd do with cars like that convertible McLaren they added that we already had the hard top of. Anyway, uh, it's raining, which is absolutely perfect for a convertible. Look how long this car is. I mean, it's got to be longer than a Phantom extended wheelbase, hasn't it? A limousine, it should have three rows of seats or something. Doesn't sound half bad. What is basically a luxury saloon, luxury convertible, I guess, drop head coupe. That's what Rolls Royce call them, I suppose. So we'll call it that. Yeah, mad, mad car. Fast it is. No luxury cars this fast. I mean, come on, if you need something like this in the real world, it's like a Rolls Royce sport, <laughs> basically. I mean, Rolls Royce hate the word sport, but if Rolls Royce were to do a sport, I suppose it's Rolls Royce Black Badge. There you go. No, it's more than that. Faster than that. I mean, yeah, it's cool. Cool, I like it. You see from the interior. Mad. Look at the look at the materials in here. It's like granite. Right, that's the quartz regalia, which we have had in previous Horizon games. So now let me show you the other quartz regalia we've got in this game. Of course, this is only one of the two. Will we fit in this? Yeah, yeah, we'll fit there. Look how big we are compared to that golf. Look at the wheels! Right. So, if you know, on Horizon, we have the car mastery section. And then on some cars, if you go right to the top corner, you have this option for a car. So I'm hoping we've got enough. We can go one, one, three, three, five, and then that one. Oh, we have to get this one first. So anyway, I'll unlock these perks on the way up to that top one, which is the Quartz Regalia D, if you didn't see. Uh, but I'll show you what that means when we get there. So you have to go through all of these, trying not to use up too many of your points. How many credits do we get for this? 30,000 credits? <laughs> Not bad. And that, and as long as we've got 99 left, which we have, we can unlock that. What I will do while we're here is I'll just run this wheel spin, see if we get anything decent. Seem to have better luck on video sometimes. <laughs> Always exciting to do a wheel spin if you've got one. And see, 150,000, just like that. Uh, anyway, back to what we're supposed to be doing. Let's unlock this. There we go, we've done it. I've got the car. How much is that? No, I'm not spending 10 on the wheel spin. So, it should now say a new car's been added to your garage. 
Ooh, level up. We're going to get another wheel spin. Let's do that. Yeah, then we'll have to head back to the garage to show you the Quartz Regalia D, the fourth car that you can get this season. What's the bodywork made of? Hang on. When you go in the pause menu, it looks like it's made of... Oh no, it's just got really nice metal flake in it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is the Quartz Regalia, which you've all seen in Horizon 3, probably. Uh, well, I'm assuming you all drove it in Horizon 3 if you had Horizon 3. Mm, I certainly did, uh, even though I don't really know what it is. Just that it's from something called Final Fantasy, but anyway. Enough of this one, and back to the Horizon Festival for the other variant of this car, which is... Uh, quite mad, I'm led to believe. But anyway, we'll head back, check it out, see what upgrades we can do, and take it for a drive. So, here it is, the Quartz Regalia Type D, which, if you can't tell from the picture, is basically a monster truck version of that. I mean, look at it, it's mad! Anyway, we'll jump straight into it, see what upgrades we can do, and then take it out for a drive. But this is the, the only car out of the four that's actually new to Horizon that's never been in a game before, but yeah, all pretty much the same in terms of doors and bonnets and everything, but look at those exhausts! That's just... just... what are those? Those are mad! It's a crazy crazy car, and look at the size of the wheels, I don't think we've got anything with wheels this big in here yet, but yeah, what a machine this is going to be quite excited to drive it actually. We just smash across the field to do whatever we want. Look, it doesn't even fit on the screen. That spotlight on the roof is sticking out. Right, what can we do here? Well, we can take that off and put that on. Okay. Why has it got a Maserati symbol down on the thing? A diff or whatever it is down there. Why? Uh, same engines. Yep. Yeah. Oh! I thought the other one had two V12s, unless, unless I read it wrong. <coughs> I'm assuming it's all wheel drive. Yep, yeah, it's all wheel drive. Right, well, not too much we can do in terms of upgrades. Shall we take it out and see what it's like? Oh, I can't wait for this. It's going to be like driving a monster. Well, it is going to be driving a monster truck. We can just smash cross country. But anyway, yeah, the only actually new to Horizon car of the four. Uh, so this is the one you all want to see probably. But yeah, let's take it out, take it for a drive, and see what it's like. So here we are, and look at this camera angle, like looking down on the car almost. Did you see those exhausts? Do they just... There we go. Oh, it's got the normal exhausts as well! It's actually got nine exhausts. I don't know if that's a mistake. You're supposed to take the main exhausts off when you do this. I don't know what it's like in... That was close. What it's like in Final Fantasy. So I don't really know what Final Fantasy is. Um, but anyway. Let's take it where it should go. Off-road. Oh, wow. It's a four-door convertible with suicide doors that is also a monster truck. Luxury car that's very fast and sounds like that and has nine exhausts. I wish this was a real car. It's mad. What does Ken Block think? I think he likes it. Jim Carner, pretty much. I mean, we almost killed a sheep. But... Oh, hay bales. Oh, yeah, hay, hay bales. Just gonna say hey to them, crush into them. Oh, more sheep. Find out, sheep. It's starting to look a bit muddy. Oh, you know what? We need to take this to mud kickers. Where is mud kickers? Is it near here? Oh, I'm gonna have to. 
It won't take long to get there if we go cross country. Take on some of the jumps there. It's a nice exciting way to finish off the video. Oh, the interior is exactly the same as the other one. Is it the same colour? It looks more blue. The other one was a sort of browny colour. I thought it wanted me to, want me to get this the red one. I'm sure it did. Okay, it wants me to follow this road. I can't actually see where the waypoint is on the map, so... I can't just take a shortcut. Yeah, it is up that way. Okay, well it's quite a steep hill. We'll just go the way it suggests. We have, they've added four cars basically this week. I know some of them we had in previous games, but they have added four cars. Allowed us to go and win four cars this week, so who knows what they're going to introduce next week. I mean, they've got to add cars in some way, hopefully, now that the car pass has ended. But yeah, this is going to be fun to tear up, tear up mud kickers in this thing, I think. Further than I thought. <laughs> it's only like three miles or something, but it does take you time to get there. Let's just. Okay. This is going to end up being slower if I hit trees. Oh, farm find. I mean, I've already found it, so. It's not all that exciting, but. If I hadn't, that would have been annoying, wouldn't it? Oh look, it's a 1965 rust bucket. He starts saying to me when he's trying to get some mud kickers. Here we are. Well, that started well, didn't it? Straight into the rocks. Oh, listen to it in here. Got to do the big jump. Maybe I'd better make it from here. I think we've got enough speed up. <coughs> Just. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. What's up this way? Please be some jumps. Mm. Not really. You know, it's a big jump up here. We'll, we'll go for the big jump. Whee! But yeah, anyway, there we go. The Quartz Regalia D, which is effectively a mad monster truck machine. You can throw around mud kickers. That and the other three cars, obviously, that we drove, uh, and the championships you need to do to get them. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't gone and got these cars, particularly the Quartz Regalia, so you can unlock this thing, I really recommend you do. You could give the Nissan a miss, to be honest, and the Bone Shaker. <laughs> Unlike me, go and check if you've got it before you go and win it again. But yeah, that's probably enough for today's video. Like I say, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll be back with some more Horizon 4 very soon. <laughs>